Hello everyone. Thank you for being here today. I'm Dr. Jeremy Kim from a pre-surgery class surgery committee from Seoul Republic. It's such an honor, but not expected for me to give this kind of business presentation, which is in a solely based on pure plastic surgical field. My title is Running Plastic Surgical Service in a Highly Competitive Market, to be honest. This is a very sensitive and in-depth subject for me. So, my presentation may not be able to give a clear answer to you, so I would like to share with you my story of plastic surgery clinic in Korea which has steadily operated for about 20 years in one same place. So hopefully this will be helpful for your clinic business in the future. As you all know, Korea has really advanced the quality of cosmetic surgery and its competition in many clinics is intense, very intense. So, uh, likewise, this uh, pursuit of beauty in modern society is uh, becoming a global trend. Uh, my clinic, April Surface Plus Surgery Clinic, has established since 1999, which is located in the center of Gangnam-Tong, Korea. We have five board certified plus surgeons uh, for each part. And, uh, one anesthetist and one DDS and professional uh, and so about 30 professional steps. Uh, probably this is middle-sized clinic in Korea. And uh, you know, uh, there are uh, some legal and cultural differences in the, each country. So actually one thing in Korea so medical practice and management of private clinic cannot be separated legally. That is, only the physician can open the private clinic. So, when we learn the plastic surgical clinic, it's very important uh, to set the philosophy and management direction of the owner to be MD or to be CEO. In other words, putting more weight on the medical result or the following financial result. In the beginning, I decided to do my divorce as a doctor uh, rather than the financial problem. However, this was chosen by my own propensity and faith and my financial and social environment, not by specific analysis or planning. From now on, let me talk about uh, some sort of my thought and uh, experience. Uh, about, let me talk about uh, competitiveness of the plastic surgical clinic. From standpoint of management as a plastic surgeon, uh, we need to think about the competitiveness of uh, our clinic and from two points of view, which are price and quality. Uh, for example, if we reduce the price, it leads to instant patient increase and uh, it leads to aggressive and mass marketing and it can cause heavy expenditure. Finally, price reduction will be cost again. This is vicious cycle. Of course, we know there are some successful modern plastic surgical training uh, by this mechanism. However, I thought this was not a good model for me. Because uh, providing surgery at high price mainly to deterioration in the quality. So I chose a quality oriented strategy. So every 
that time, I was tempted with uh, buying a price policy. I would always made some efforts to maintain my quality. Uh, in retrospect, those efforts were very basic. And possibly the only, only, only stage of credit learning because it was not costly. But those are very basic things, uh, devising new techniques for diagnosis, social skill, and STEM education, and academic approach, etc. At first, most patients felt the price relatively expensive compared to other clinics. Uh, however, soon after, our brand and our efforts eventually gave patients uh, some sort of cultural satisfaction as well as medical satisfaction. It's probably due to good operation results and trust in our academic efforts and the high brand loyalty based on emotional marketing. This medical and cultural satisfaction is consistent with original purpose of medical care, which is the fulfillment of instinctive desires and welfare in human life and business as well. So I must say, in the beginning of the clinic, be faithful to the basics and do not jump into price competition. In addition to uh, this balanced price and quality, I, I have also exerted for academic efforts. We sought to attend the conference and giving presentations and many paperwork. And we have scored them and we applied it a return to each doctor's profit contribution. Our profit, our clinic's profit contribution system divided into actual patient work and academic work efforts. These academic efforts especially subdivided according to this, uh, the importance of the conference level and the uh, presentation level and the paper's quality, etc. And we made it equal to the actual patient work. Uh, in other words, in our clinic, each doctor's academic approach and actual patient work, the same level of profit contribution. It was somewhat compared, but I think this is very realistic and uh, very good system to improve our academic efforts and medical quality. So until now, we have published some papers about the third papers, including uh, the PRS and other SCI journals in Korea and abroad. And we have participated in the writing textbook including the surgical video chapter in Nelly's plastic surgery. Also, we have exerted academic efforts, academic activities, uh, such as giving many presentations every year and attending the important meeting, including this or subs, and uh, act as an active member, international and uh, Korean Plastic Surgical Society. In particular, I'm so proud I successfully had the first uh, Seoul Iron Plastic Forum as a founder uh, when I was the president of the Korean Iron Plastic Association of KPRS. I met many great surgeons and masters at the time, so after that, uh, they, thankfully, they are still encouraging me as a friend and share friendship. We know this is very tough as a private clinic doctor. However, the doctors should keep it steadily, but do not simply use it as a marketing tool, because if it does, it will last long.
it will not last long. So I think academic efforts are doctors' duty and habit. Medical standardization. This medical standardization should be needed uh, to make uh, clinic operations more efficient. Uh, I tried to set medical standardization from when we were more than two doctors about medical portal and pre-operative process such as surgical dread and star and basic surgical procedures and postal dressing, etc. Also, most importantly, at least two doctors participated in each surgery. As a result, we were able to reduce operation time and increase efficiency, such as concentration surgery and the cost of dressing and emergency care, etc. Moreover, it can tie us together with mutual respect and sharing academic and uh, social idea and knowledge. I think this is great for us as it can give us a very uh, improvement of our uh, friendship and our medical quality. So I think the system is very good, uh, in, especially in the group practice uh, such a clinic. The next academic exchange and visit Recently, thanks to internet and social media, the globalization of plastic surgery has really accelerated. And this academic exchange and visit even can be regarded as an evaluation criteria for patients beyond exchanging information on doctors. Uh, so I have participated in the important invitation and uh, met important doctor and master and visit clinic, including my last uh, live demonstration in the OSAPS 2016 in Jango Memorial Hospital. Some important doctor visited our clinic uh, recently, especially uh, Professor Lee Shawin from Shanghai and uh, Dr. Lauren Zhou from Taiwan and uh, Dr. Boric and uh, James Stilchin from USA visited our clinic and observed our operation. And we had a very enjoyable time and we had a silly discussion and uh, we had a very valuable time. Furthermore, Dr. Boric and Stilchin report of my clinic visit as a ultra modern asset clinic in Seoul in their one paper, Paris Global of John. So, this interaction between doctors not only vitalizes in top working condition of us, but also it can give some trust marketing effect through globalization by internet and social media. As for marketing, I will just talk about marketing philosophy, our marketing philosophy briefly. My marketing philosophy is inventive, but following legal and ethical rules. Uh, and our strategy is based, was based on emotional marketing rather than aggressive and mass marketing. However, I will dare talk about marketing details because I'm not sure our strategy has gone so well and uh, frankly for me my, our, my strategy is still changeable. STEM management. This STEM management and organization management is very important to maintain and fight with clinic. It is difficult to maintain a clinic with merely individual doctor's ability to provide higher advanced cosmetic surgery 
by meeting enhanced uh, patient expectation. To do that, we made effort to enhance expertise and uh, giving efforts for staff loyalty. To enhance expertise, I think securing long-term steps uh, is very important thing. To do that, uh, we are uh, providing not only increased salary, but also uh, giving a number of welfare benefits for our steps, which was based on a seniority and work position rather than ability. And we have employed professional interpreters for global APC first. So currently we have five Chinese, three English, one Japanese, one Vietnamese professional interpreters. In the future, I will increase the inter inter interpreters with business needs. Efforts for loyalty. We have been focusing the efficient uh, communication with our staffs uh, with uh, regular meeting and uh, some recreation and uh, frequent workshop. And more, uh, so we are providing a proper training Systems such as uh, attending international or uh, domestic conference uh, to educate our staffs. In this moment, our staff, six staffs uh, who have been working for April 31st first surgery clinic more than 10 years uh, accompanied us in this body and they are enjoying the body as the world location. I hope they have really enjoyable time in Bali. So, I think uh, the most effective way to get to gain the loyalty from the staffs is uh, to return the loyalty into the, our staffs. Try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. This is my favorite phrase. So I would like to ask you, what, what is your value in your life as a plastic surgeon? So hopefully, so please uh, manage uh, your value of your clinic and where you reflect your value in your life. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.